the dawn of structure intra-embryonic mesoderm. In the grand cosmic ballet of embryonic development, the first act begins with a single fertilized cell. This microscopic marvel embarks on a journey of rapid division, ultimately giving rise to a complex multicellular structure. But it's in the second act, with the formation of the trilaminar embryo, that the stage is set for the development of our intricate body plan. Among the three germ layers, ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm, it is the mesoderm that takes center stage in the drama of body cavity formation. The mesoderm, initially a seemingly simple layer nestled between the ectoderm and endoderm, holds the blueprint for an astonishing array of structures. It gives rise to our muscles, bones, connective tissues, and crucially, our body cavities. The very spaces that will one day house and protect our vital organs emerge from this embryonic layer. Understanding the mesoderm's journey is akin to unraveling the origins of our inner universe. But the mesoderm's story is not one of uniform development. This dynamic layer undergoes a series of transformations, dividing and differentiating into distinct regions with specialized fates. It is from these specialized regions that the grand symphony of body cavity formation truly begins. Mesoderm's Triple Transformation As the embryonic drama unfolds, the mesoderm embarks on a remarkable journey of transformation. From its initial simplicity, this versatile layer gives rise to three distinct regions, each destined for a unique role in shaping the developing embryo. Imagine the mesoderm as a skilled artisan molding itself into the building blocks of our future form. First, we have the paraxial mesoderm flanking the neural tube that will eventually become the spinal cord. This region, true to its name, para meaning near and axial, referring to the axis of the body, plays a pivotal role in forming our skeletal muscles, vertebrae and dermis, the deep layer of our skin. Next, we encounter the intermediate mesoderm, a slender ribbon nestled between the paraxial and lateral mesoderm. This region, smaller yet no less vital, lays the foundation for our urogenital system, responsible for the production and elimination of waste products. Finally, we arrive at the lateral mesoderm, the farthest from the midline of the embryo. This region, destined to form the lining of our body cavities and contribute to the development of our circulatory system, holds the key to understanding the origins of our internal spaces. It is within the lateral mesoderm that we witness the birth of cavities, those essential compartments that will one day house our organs. The first space coelomic cavities emerge. In the intricate dance of embryonic development, the formation of the coelom marks a pivotal moment. Picture this, within the lateral mesoderm, small spaces begin to appear, like tiny bubbles coalescing within a sheet of dough. These spaces filled with fluid are the nascent coelomic cavities, the precursors to our future body cavities. The emergence of these fluid-filled spaces is driven by a process known as cavitation. Cells within the lateral mesoderm rearrange themselves, creating a separation between two distinct layers, the somatic mesoderm, lying closer to the ectoderm, and the splanchnic mesoderm, embracing the endoderm. It is within this space, between the somatic and splanchnic layers, that the coelom expands, carving out the primordial cavities that will ultimately give rise to our thoracic and abdominal cavities. These early coelomic cavities, though seemingly simple, represent a fundamental step in the organization of our internal architecture. They establish the framework for a compartmentalized body plan, allowing for the independent development and movement of organs within their designated spaces. It is within the protective embrace of these cavities that our vital organs will mature and function throughout our lives. Section 4. Lateral mesoderm split somatic and splanchnic layers. As the coelomic cavity expands, it cleaves the lateral mesoderm into two distinct layers, each destined for a unique role in shaping our internal structure. 
Imagine the lateral mesoderm as a sheet of paper gently separating into two layers, creating a space between them. The outer layer, adhering closely to the ectoderm, is known as the somatic mesoderm. This layer, destined to contribute to the formation of our body wall, gives rise to the connective tissues, bones and skeletal muscles that sculpt our external form. It is the somatic mesoderm that provides the structural support for our bodies, allowing us to move and interact with the world around us. The inner layer, intimately associated with the endoderm, is called the splanchnic mesoderm. This layer embarks on a different developmental path, giving rise to the smooth muscles and connective tissues that form the walls of our internal organs. It is the splanchnic mesoderm that sculpts the intricate architecture of our digestive system, our lungs and our heart, creating the muscular frameworks that power their vital functions. Section 5, the embryo folds, shaping our future form. As the coelom expands and the somatic and splanchnic mesoderm differentiate, the embryo undergoes a dramatic transformation, folding in upon itself like a delicate origami creation. This process, known as embryonic folding, is driven by the differential growth of various embryonic tissues and the interplay of mechanical forces. It is during this crucial stage that the flat trilaminar embryonic disc transforms into a more cylindrical structure resembling the familiar form of a developing fetus. Imagine the embryo as a flat sheet of paper with the head end at the top and the tail end at the bottom. As the embryo folds, the lateral edges of this sheet move towards each other, eventually meeting and fusing at the midline. This process, akin to zipping up a jacket, encloses the endoderm and splanchnic mesoderm within the embryo, creating the primitive gut tube, the precursor to our digestive system. As the lateral edges fold inward, they carry with them the amnia, a fluid-filled sac that surrounds and protects the developing embryo. The amnion, like a watery cradle, cushions the embryo from mechanical shocks and provides a stable environment for its continued growth.